Hello everyone and welcome to my channel HJMIT. Today we're going to be looking at using Office 365 on Chromebook. Now I have done a video on this previously, that was the old way of using Office 365 on Chromebook. Today we're going to be looking at this new way. Okay so to start off with if you open Google Chrome as you can see in the search uh, I've just typed Microsoft 365 login and that gives me the link that I, I want. Okay, so here you can see it'll ask you to sign in. You click sign in and put your username in which will be your email address uh, for Microsoft. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. Um, I will do a step-by-step -step guide for that. Um, and put it on my website which I will put in the description below okay again it'll ask you for your password if you enter that uh, if you've forgotten it again I'll do a step by step guide for that if anybody wants one um, and and then just sign in with your password okay so it's going to ask you to stay signed in um, I'm going to click yes. This will only do that if you do not actively click sign out before you close the browser. Um, so do be aware of that. Okay. So as you can see, we're on Microsoft 365, and down the side is your normal sort of applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook um, and obviously OneDrive and Teams and the other apps that are available straight away is OneNote. So if you then click on apps here it will show you the options. It'll give you the normal ones that you've already got access to um, but it'll give you the other ones that are available. Um, I will be doing some videos on some of these um, depending on popularity, what people use. Um, so if, you re if I don't do a video on something that you really want to see, please let me know um, and I will do a video on that for you. Okay, so let's go back to Word for this time and it again it gives you the, the same sort of thing as previous um, for Office 365 it gives you the template options just uh, as a quick overview I'm just going to click on a new blank document for this one okay so when it loads up you'll see you've got the ribbon at the top like you would anyway with file, home, insert, layout, references, review, view and help. Um, and again that's sort of a layout that if you've used Office 365 before you'll be well aware of. Um, again I will go more in depth um, in another video specifically on Word as well. Um, so the nine square dots, um, which is the app launcher in the top left hand corner, um, you'll see that you can go to the different applications available. Uh, the other option is if you click the Microsoft 365, it will open in a new tab. Um, it will open that home page again for you so you can still have that word document open and say you want to go to PowerPoint you can go to PowerPoint and again new blank presentation or use a theme um, and you'll be able to do that while still having access to your word document um, Again, any questions, please let me know. I will do my best to answer them. Um, 
if you want a step-by-step -step guide on certain things again I will be happy to create that for you um, on my website there is a request form for uh, certain step-by-step -step documents um, you can always put your request in there you can put it in the comments um, I can't guarantee that I'm gonna see it as quickly but again I will do my best um so yeah that's it for today um, i hope you all have a good day please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and i will put the uh, website in the description below um and i hope to see you in the next one thank you